Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, an author, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back. Radio show combined with the YouTube version on YouTube under Take Your Life Back Today show. Three steps to activate forgiveness in your life. My friends, are you struggling with bitterness? Has a family member, friend, or business partner ever burnt you, done you wrong? That feeling of betrayal is a hard pill to swallow, especially when it comes from someone uh, that, that's close to you. They say time heals all wounds, but I've had a few wounds that over time could have gotten worse if I hadn't stopped it. The pain and the hurt continued to grow, and the more time that passed, the more bitterness grew. It almost destroyed me until I took actions and dealt with it. Listen and learn the steps that I took so I can apply them uh, or have you apply them in your own life. Step number one, make a list of everyone who could have maybe done you wrong. I made a list of everyone who I had done wrong over the years or who thought I done them wrong. It didn't uh, just go back three or uh, four or even five years. It went back even further than that maybe even as far as high, high school. I sent apologetic emails, texts, letters, asking for their forgiveness and what I needed to make it right with them. Speaking of writing uh, books uh, about people who have done wrong, if you go to Bottoms Up, Surrendering to God Not to Booze, you'll see if a person who's done wrong to our family that I have learned to forgive. Some people didn't respond at all. Some responded with disbelief. Have you been hacked? A few people even told me, that they were quite shocked and quite impressed that I would go to the extreme of doing that. Wow, I didn't see that coming, but how refreshing. With each return contact, I endured a rush of embarrassment and hesitation, but yet uh, an ease feeling. I was admitting that I was wrong and I was asking for forgiveness. My friends, at the end of the exercise, which took maybe about three months. I shouldn't even call it an exercise when I wanted to forget. I was mentally exhausted, but I found that my, my mind, my spirit were renewed and strengthened. In Colossians 3.13 states, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. Proverbs 28.13 states, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but who so confesses and forsaken them shall have mercy. It's your turn. Start making your list. Who have you done wrong to? Now go to them and apologize. Yes, do it for them, but do it for yourself also. Take hold of the seed of bitterness and start ripping it out. I promise you, once you go through this process, you will have wished you had done it years ago. Now on my list, there is a number two. Make a list of everyone who uh, you um, uh, that has possibly done wrong to you. Make a list of everyone who had done uh, uh, wrong to you over the years. Family, friends, business partners, and everyone else that uh, that you could recall. This wasn't that hard because not too many people have done wrong to me, but there were some. I didn't want to remember the pain and the humiliation, but I knew I had to address it. I recorded my feelings. And then I started pay, praying for God to remove the bitterness, the anger, and the pain. I started uttering words of prayer. I forgave my employee uh, uh, at one time that maybe uh, embezzled money. What? Why would you forgive that? Well, God says to give others, uh, to forgive others, so they can be forgiven. And and I started to forgive them. I could feel the burden and the sadness physically lift from my soul. Although it was only with a few checks here and there that they took money out, uh, I, I, it, it was something that hurt. Now it's your turn. Start making your list. What about the person that ran over my mother? I learned a year to, to that day that it happened to forgive him as well. Have you ever been cheated to, lied to? Now forgive them. Ask Mark, uh, as Mark 11.25 states, And when ye start, stand praying, forgive, if ye have or against any of your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Forgive others as God commands you. Step two must be done before you can go to step three. 
Now, here is step three. As you can imagine, the pain, the anger, and the frustration come rushing in at times when I remember what someone did to me. You will experience the same feeling just because you say it once doesn't mean that it sticks. I'm 100% positive there are things that I will be turning over to God on a regular basis that would make uh, uh, something that I can handle down here impossible to handle, but I know God can. That's the difference. Jesus directly addressed this to Peter. Jesus told Peter that he should be willing to forgive his brother as many times as needed. Matthew 18, 21, 22 states, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. How often? Till seven times, Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times. Seven? Keep forgiving, I said to Jesus, and Jesus answered yes. Call me at 844 help because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves, be good to others. Remember, simple smile to a total stranger can make a difference. If there's anybody that hurt you or you have hurt, it's time to forgive. Let it go. We don't stand to judge other people. Only God does. We don't punish other people. Only God does. Let 